there's no substitute to the primary task of having a living faith and handing that living faith to this generation and to the next generation. I think it begins by facilitating an encounter with Jesus Christ. And, and that's, that is the, the, the starting point. Because without an encounter, faith today is, is propositions and not a living faith. And, and without the encounter as a centerpiece of, of catechesis, and I would dare say the life of the church, we'll build on, on, on the shifting sand and not on the solid rock. You see, whether we like it or not, there is, there is a, a, a time in which we are living. There are so many competing messages and, and so, many, so many variations of, of truth, um, of, of truth that people are, are, are claiming that until they encounter the way, the truth, and the life in the person of Jesus Christ. The precepts that you want to hand, the formulations you want to give, the knowledge you want to give out is just one set of knowledge as opposed to another set of knowledge. And, 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 and they will say, well, yeah, I know, but um, I read about this in another book and I read about that in another book. So it, it all becomes an, an intellectual thing. Handing on the faith has to move much further than the intellect. Because if you look at Acts of the Apostles, the, the first Christians, um, it was in Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came and they had that encounter with the Holy Spirit, that they had a living faith and then they handed the living faith on, on to the others. So I, for me, it starts with an encounter. And, and that encounter is not only the centerpiece, it's the solid foundation. I like, I like that analogy where you went back into the Acts of the Apostles because first the Apostles had the encounter with Christ. They journeyed with Christ for three years. And then we see with Pentecost, the encounter, as you say, with the Holy Spirit. So here these apostles, and that's why they were so successful, because first they had the encounter with Christ, next the Holy Spirit, which empowered them and helped them recognize all that Jesus was teaching them. And so yeah. the two are so critical. Absolutely. And, and it's critical because we're not, again, I want to stress, it's not an informational task. Catechetics, catechetics is not an informational task. You know, many times people feel, well, we have, to, we have to get them to know the faith. Well, yes, but we are again to live the faith. I, I, I have met kids who have been taught the faith, but they end up in it. Like you, you've been taught proper hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, don't, we don't keep it socially distanced at all and we hug it up people so guess what you're going to catch the wrong thing 